Today, I'll be warning you about the biggest scams, rip-offs, and tourist traps in New York City that every visitor needs to know about. We even have some that I've never talked about before. Pay close attention. Here we go. Welcome to Times Square, ground zero for so many scams and rip-offs. The fake monk scam, and literally, I, I see one walking right there as we film this. He will walk up to you and try to slap a bracelet on your wrist and try to solicit a donation for a Buddhist temple. Well, guess what? This temple doesn't exist. I don't even know if he's Buddhist, and you can get that bracelet probably for a dollar around the corner. So best advice, like most of these scams, don't engage. This has gotten so bad in Times Square that they actually have signs for it up. If you're handed a compact disc, it's free. Tipping is optional. We'll take it one step further. If anybody tries to hand you a CD, just don't take it. It is not worth the argument because the guys giving them out are going to expect money for one of their mixtapes. Sometimes they'll even try to autograph it for you to put extra pressure to get a donation. So my best advice, if anyone tries handing you a CD, just keep walking and don't make eye contact. Now, a lot of times around the city, especially in Times Square, you'll see groups of street performers, many times doing aerial acts, jumping over each other, trying to pump up the crowd, all fun. And they are going to expect tips, which is perfectly fine. They are giving you a performance, but where things get dicey is when they ask for volunteers and you volunteer to go in the middle of their show. Now, what some of my viewers have told me is they're gonna ask you quietly to give them 10, maybe $20 to ensure that they actually jump over your head. Again, no issue with this, but just know if you want your friends and family to film and take photos of this, if you wanna be the center of attention, they are going to expect a tip, so don't be surprised. Speaking of video, most tourists realize that if you wanna take a picture with Mickey Mouse or Elmo, they're gonna ask you for a tip, maybe quite aggressively, but also if you're even walking by and start to film any of the costume characters, I have seen them get very upset, even with me, for filming and them being in the background. They may demand money from you. Remember, you have a First Amendment right to record whatever you want in public, but is it really worth the hassle to argue with these people? Probably not. Resort fees. I've never talked about it on the channel before, but so many of you have complained about it, and if you've never been to Las Vegas, a resort fee is basically any fee that a hotel tax onto your bill to cover perks like free internet service, gym entry, access to the pool. Where it starts to get a little tricky is that a lot of third-party sites will put resort fee in small print at the bottom. So there's a big surprise when you check out that you're paying an extra $29 per night and this gets a lot of people upset. You can try to avoid booking a hotel that has it, but I would just be extremely careful about reading the fine print, reading all the texts when you book to see if the resort fee is included, so there's no surprise. There's a new scam in New York City which is targeting senior citizens in all five boroughs, and I want all my tourists to know about it as well. The victim walks into the ATM vestibule and puts in their card, enter their PIN, and then a stranger comes behind them and puts a few dollars on the ground. The scammer's gonna tap you and say you dropped some cash, and then they are so quick, they'll switch your card out of the machine with a dummy card, take off with your card, and go on a spending spree. I've also read that they are so sophisticated that they will stake out ATMs with surveillance gear, Bluetooth technology. It is very high-end crime going on in New York City right now at ATM machines. I want to warn, especially my senior citizen viewers, to be on the lookout for this. Another new scam that has been reported on the news in New York, we'll call this the candy scam. Some teens will approach you selling candy. Now, if you have cash, you'll just buy the candy. But if you don't have cash, they'll say it's fine. We can accept Venmo or Zelle Pay. And then instead of you putting in their phone number, they'll ask for your phone. And when they get your phone, you're gonna lose a lot of money, thousands of dollars coming out of your account. So the rule of thumb here and the advice I give is never give your phone to anybody if you're trying to donate money. If you're visiting New York for the first time and you need advice on itineraries, cheap eats, and so much more, check out our digital guides, link down in the description. I'm actually taking some of your suggestions here. Steven Reese wrote, I had a guy try and sell me the hop on hop off bus same day, about 20 minutes before they stopped operating. It happened a few days 
during my stay. Okay, nothing against the hop on hop off buses, and this goes for any tour of New York. If someone's trying to sell you it, you should know what time it closes. Even an hour isn't enough time for one of those hop on hop off buses. So if it's the end of the day and someone's trying to sell you a tour, make sure you know how much time you have left. Something else to be on the lookout for in Midtown are pedicabs, also in Central Park. Now some of them are amazing guides to the city, but do not jump blindly onto a pedicab without agreeing to a price first, because many of them will charge six, seven, eight dollars a minute. So after 20 or 30 minutes, you're basically paying for an airline ticket, okay? Broadway ticket ripoffs. This is something that so many tourists fall for. If you wanna see any Broadway show, what you need to do to get tickets for it is go directly to that show's website. There's different ticket providers like Telecharge or Ticketmaster. And in this example here, we go to Aladdin and we find a show next week, May 23rd. Now on the official site, we jump to Ticketmaster. It starts at 64.50, but if you Googled Aladdin, you would find a website that looks official like this one, where you would see a start price of $106 a ticket, and they're barely showing you any inventory because these are ticket resellers, and you're gonna spend a lot more money if you go away from the primary source of tickets. You also have the ability to go to the TKTS booth if you wanna get discounts for same day shows, but for really popular shows or really busy times of year, always recommend pre-buying for your favorite show. Street food ripoffs and scams. I've mentioned this so many times, but if you ever go to a food vendor on the street and they do not have their prices listed, ask what the price is first before ordering. I've heard too many reports of my viewers paying $10, $20 for a hot dog. I wish I was making this up. So always check, you do not wanna fall for this. Back to the viewers, the baggage tip hustle. Scammers outside the train terminal of Moynihan, people looking for a buck helping with luggage. He charged me 20 bucks just to carry the luggage into the terminal. Fortunately, the red caps were kind and patient. Thank you, Amtrak. Well, thank you, Enya, for this. I actually had something similar happen to me many years ago in Bridgeport, Connecticut. You may have some people trying to help you with your bags outside of a Moynihan train hall, a Port Authority right behind me, or a Penn Station. Don't let some stranger take your bags and expect that they're gonna do it for free. They will want a tip, okay? So be on the lookout for that. The bus train airport stranded local scam. I see this happening all the time at the area transport hubs. Somebody's gonna walk up to you and say they are $7.25 short of their bus ticket up to Syracuse. And if you give them that money, they're gonna get home safely. They're gonna be in the same place, same time the next day, maybe going to a different city. So if anybody asks you for money to catch a bus or catch a train, no, they're doing it to everybody. The dropped food, bottle, medicine, glasses, you name it, scam. Somebody will be walking past you, in my case it was carrying french fries, and they very intentionally bump into you hoping that you didn't notice dropping their food everywhere, dropping their prescription medicine everywhere, and demanding money from you right away. If this ever happens, keep it moving. Just keep walking, that's it. Don't engage, they're gonna look for a more gullible mark around the corner. You need to be on guard at any of the area airports the second you step outside of the terminal. If you don't have your ride arranged, somebody may approach you offering you a lift into Manhattan. Never accept any random livery cab driver's offer. They could really rip you off. The second is I have seen it myself, people holding up signs that say Uber, trying to encourage you to go ride with them. They don't work for Uber. Every Uber must be called by the individual. They're just gonna give you a very expensive ride into the city. Filbert KM with this one. The scammers in Battery Park and around the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. Everyone should know the Staten Island Ferry is free and offers a pretty good view of the Statue of Liberty. Indeed it does, and indeed the Staten Island Ferry is always free. Never accept any huffer trying to buy tickets for the Staten Island Ferry. And be careful of some of the people down there trying to sell, let's say, Statue of Liberty cruises or boat cruises. You can go directly to Castle Clinton 
or statuecruises.com to get the official tickets for the statue. So be on guard for that. If you're visiting New York for the first time, there's certain tips and tricks that'll really help you out. In this video, I share 25 essential New York City tips in 10 minutes, worth the watch. Trust me, head here next.